what is goody everybody it's full time trip we're back for another match reaction match review whatever you want to call it i'm stressed and that was stressful that was stress bro my heart rate did not need all of that but the job is done one nil to the arsenal against crystal palace at selhurst park man make sure i like comment subscribe all that good stuff but what you want me to say bro i was stressful like come on L listen bro we run into again who i think at, at this going rate is the worst uh ref at, at, throughout the entire premier league staff uh he's the worst ref david coot is absolutely terrible so inconsistent we can get on that in a second though but just speak on the game itself i was again a little bit worried a little bit uh uh yeah, I'd say a little bit worried, but I think overall, I, think, I thought we'd get the job done. I thought I was, I was saying 2-1, 3-1, but again, the game uh, picked up a little bit uh, slower than I thought it would. Some of the combinations were going, but just the things didn't click as fast as I wanted to, but we ended up getting a lot of good chances um, throughout the first half. Things started to open up. We started to pick our spots, but just didn't take them. Uh, again, some great movement, some some great, you know, just exchanges and and, pa and passages of play, but just weren't able to get over the line in the first half. Uh, second half, we did get through uh, with the Martin Odegaard penalty with some excellent work from Gabriel Martinelli and Eddie and Ketia. Uh, son, what can I say about this game today? I, I, let me start with my concerns. My concerns about how we play. Um, Left-hand side is still very, very... It's not there to me yet. And it's 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 difficult. It's difficult. Again, there's new players on that end, and there's a lot of th things to get used to. Tom Yasu coming in for for Timber, who's unfortunately injured, is also something that puts a, a dampener on some of the some of the dynamics on that side, which is understandable. Uh, but it just wasn't it wasn't as as fluid as the you know most of everything else was today. I'll be honest. I think the most spark we got from that left hand side was when Declan Rice started to come up and started combining on that front. I think that's where we started to see a lot more uh, 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 just some dynamism, just some life on the left-hand side. Most of it was going through the right. There was some, again, rotation going through the middle. I saw Martinelli even up ended on the right-hand side. Again, that level of unpredictability, you know what I'm saying, trying to create more of that, I guess, that spirit, that that machine, you know, so to speak. Uh, I saw it today. I definitely saw it today. Uh, but, you know, we get to that that little flashpoint after the goal. This stupid decision. How 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 does three seconds of not even grabbing somebody's shirt get you another yellow card? On top of only getting eight seconds on the ball just to throw it. You know what? I, I might give a special. I, I'm not. I'm trying not to do ref ratings this season, but I might have a special one for you, ref David Coot. I'm gonna have a special one for you, but we'll figure it out. And you know, from that point, we just had to suffer. We just had to suffer. We had to, you know. Uh, bring it bring it in man i ain't gonna lie is i know it's real i know it's getting to that point because this man arteta employed the most anti-capitalist you know what i'm saying the most the most anti-freedom the most dictatorship level low block i've ever seen that was like you know what i'm saying this man was summoning the spirits of saddam hussein and a whole bunch of other random terrorists throughout history to employ this low block and Listen, at the end of the day, I will say this. These moments are parts where we crumble in the years past and the seasons past. We capitulate, you know, even with the system. And even I question in, in the game, I'll be serious. I, even I question, I was like, okay, we have no we have no outlet. We have nobody to run on to play the counter, potentially score. But he was like, nah, we need to stick in. It, 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 there was just some thought that we were going to suffer like crazy and we just need to let it go. And it took some smart play. It took some hustle. It took a lot of grit to get through that situation, man. But we did it. We did it. And that is, that was tough. That was not as as uh, you know beautiful as I wanted it to be. It's not as smooth of a ride as I wanted to be. But that was that was a that was a championship level performance because we ground we ground it out. And given Palace weren't that great as well, but still the the attacks came and we had to do what we needed to do. Again, snuff them out, kill it, and then move. Some really smart again, just plays and guile to again like draw fouls and, and things in certain positions at that latter end of the game. You know, had to ride our luck a little bit. But we got the three points, and that's the that's the point of this, man. We got the dub, and I'm cool with that, bro. That that is wonderful stuff. I am I'm I'm so nervous. I'm sh I'm shaking, but I'm happy with that with that result. I'm happy with the grind that we did through that, man. Some standout performances I can get through, but 
standouts for me today um eddie and ketia declan rice uh william saliva definitely the three that stand out to me uh declan rice i'll get i know I'll, I'll run through a quick rating in, in a minute but like what what more can you say some of the the organization and just flow it just went entirely through declan rice at certain points he was showing everything up he was start kicking everything off just an absolute live wire and in, in in a match that needed something more uh so i was i was happy to see him you know take that role on and he had a he had a good outing i think he had a really good outing today man uh Damn, I'm nervous. I, I was nervous, bro. I was nervous. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Selhurst Park ain't been the kindest to us, bro. But we made it through. We made it through. And that's the important thing right here, man. So we can we can roll through it, though. Oh, my goodness. And thank goodness Eze is... Uh, not Eze. What's his name? Uh, Zaha is is in is in Galatasaray right now, living it up, bro. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a, a tough-ass day. But let's let's run into these ratings really quickly. Uh, I'll start Ramsdale and goal. Ramsdale, I'm gonna give a... I'll give... Quickly, I'll give a 7.5. Quickly, I'll give a 7.5. Uh, again, wait, I'm lying. Clean sheet, eight. He gets an eight today. Um, I think he still handles some things pretty well. Try to, um, again, run out, good positioning. Wasn't too much that he, you know, did did wrong, uh, in my opinion, and had a solid outing with, you know what I'm saying, Ryan watching from the stands. Ryan was watching, keeping an eye on him and stuff. So, again, away day, away day, Ramsdale. What more can we expect but the absolute, you know what I'm saying, top tier performances that he usually puts on. So, seven, actually, eight for me, solid eight. Um, let me go. Uh, Thomas Partey, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to give uh for the clean she stuck in they had a penalty shot that really probably should have been a penalty i don't know that one was a little bit wild from that side too i'll give him a i'll give him a seven i'll give him i'll give him a seven uh again still think he played all right sir pox some of the past selection was really wonky for him today was not one of the best players on the pitch today in my opinion uh and again just tough being isolated as a right back when you're not so you know it it, it is what it is uh ben white i'm going to give uh i'll give a 7.5 i think he was pretty decent from him but not not anything crazy again just typical ben white performance which is solid and helps us do what we need to do that that's that's pretty much it for me like ben white always has pretty consistent performances you know and, and he doesn't really stray too far out of his norm his normal his line of normalcy uh which is just again really tidy on the ball you know good good in defense you know solid what we need to do back to right center back which is you know i haven't seen him you know saying power back that way in a long time before this season so interesting stuff uh william saliba one of the standouts he gets uh a clean sheet as well um even with the mistake i i would i and he recovered it himself like what am i talking about with state he club he covered it up himself bro one of the best center backs this league has to offer right now like he I, i'm gonna give him i'll give him an 8.5 i'll give him an 8.5 I don't think I think I'll rate everybody. I think I'll rate the top players towards the same performance. Cause I didn't feel like crazy about it, but I, I I still think it was it was it was solid. I think it was solid for people. Uh, Tommy Yasu, Tommy Yasu was getting cooked by IU, and that that's what got me a little bit. Again, he got sent off, so I can't give him more than like I can't give him more than like a, a six, honestly. Like a probably I, I give him a five. I'm gonna be real. I'll probably give him a five just because he was getting cooked by that old ass you know what i'm saying old ass uncle andre ayu or jordan ayu which, whichever ayu he is bro I, I i are you not ashamed of how he was cooking you tomiyasu for those certain little bits but he'll get back up to match fitness it was pretty unlucky for him to get get that second yellow uh but yeah that's tough um odegaard i'm going to give a seven honestly i didn't it, it wasn't a game where odegaard was you know actually wait 7.5 he scored the goal let me chill out let me chill let me relax my fault y'all my fault my fault my bad my bad my bad that's on me that's on me he did score the penalty wonderful penalty is he on pens now no idea but outside of that i think he had a pretty straightforward performance um kai havertz i'm going to give a seven as well i think both of them were kind of in that same realm not overly that not over that line to get to 7.5 in my opinion but i think again havertz havertz is doing some of the things that again are gonna get un, they're gonna go unnoticed in certain points he's winning duels again he's he's really really tracking on a on a defensive level he's actually performing very very well and doing what needs to be done in that eight slot 
and I feel like I, it's going unnoticed to a certain extent. Now it just needs now as these advanced, advanced runs come through and he has more time to get into that final third. It's time to start putting goals away and start you know what I'm saying getting assists. I think there was an assist that um uh, I think Martinelli took a touch like too wide or something like that, and or he maybe took too long on the ball and just ruined the opportunity there. Where Havers could have gotten assist where the ball was in, but I don't know. Um. Eh, it is what it is. Um, Declan Rice. Oh my goodness. Completely forgot Declan Rice. Declan Rice gets an 8.5 as well. I thought he had an absolute fantastic performance. I'm not gonna lie. Like he was imperial. He I I think he controlled the game very, very well from a defensive standpoint. So clean in tackling, so clean in breaking up play, uh, just so easily dribbling out from the, the from our defensive third and clearing out some dangerous situations, making some good connections on the left hand side where it was basically just did no man's land it was literally like you know what i'm saying barren you know what i'm saying barren lands just discussed an elephant graveyard on the left hand side at times and he brought some life to that uh on the right hand side again stuck in there towards the end of the game was one of the main proponents a lot of great blocks clearances just good tracking guile just smart was really i think this was a good stamp stamping performance uh from from declan rice this was really good from him i i'm so excited i'm so happy i'm so happy we have him I mean, he could have conceded a penalty today. He could have conceded a penalty like some other, you know what I'm saying, some other players who are signed for big money. I don't know who it is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kai Take though, but I, it, I'm just glad we got Declan Rice. That's all I'm saying. Declan Rice absolutely put his mark on his game. Mwah, chef's kiss. Um, moving on real quick, Gabriel Martinelli, um, I'm going to give... Uh, I'll give a 7.5. I think he done well again, despite the lack of service and the kind of awkward dynamics on that left hand side. Could have done better with some things. There was a shot that came in. That I think he just skewed, sent it, sent it to the damn moon. But it is what it is. We'll we'll kind of you know give him a mulligan for that. Um, honestly, I I just yeah, it's just the, the the dynamic on the left hand side, man. It's just weird to me right now. It's weird to me. I don't know. Uh, the Bukayo Saka, I'm going to give probably a 7.5 as well. Uh, didn't have too, too much, you know, he was getting double marked from the off and and uh, Tyreek Mitchell, really good defender. Gwehi behind him, really good defender. So it's, it's tough to kind of get all that service through. Uh, but he's he had he had some moments. He had, he had a couple of things here and there, but I think 7.5 is probably about accurate. And in my opinion, my man in the match for today, Eddie Inketia, he gets an 8.5 as well, but he is my man in the match. This was a really, really good performance. I Listen, despite the misses, despite whatever you want to call it, his contribution today was vital. He won the penalty for us to score and get over the line. And from a, a, just an absolute run standpoint, that's exactly what you want. Great on the, you know what I'm saying? Just, just so great on the turn. Uh, again, un, unfortunate for some of these chances. The chip was not unfortunate. I was just like, damn, I, I wish he could have did better there. But the first one where he kind of skinned it off the post, that one was unlucky. But again, the runs, the movement, the the availability. I feel like again, in some places where we maybe would have preferred a trust art today, I think he showed why he can he can make an impact in those types of games and. I, he was the difference. He was the difference today. He was the difference today. I don't know, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to put forth, him winning that penalty, being smart, being switched on, him being so active in the press, in the structure, whatever you want to call it, his activity and his, it just, it just his, his presence right there in this game today was the difference. That's why we got over the line. So, or it was a big, or at least a big factor influencing that, that, that we got over the line. So say what you want about Eddie and Ketia, but today he put in a really good performance and I think he's my man of the match. It was between him and Declan Rice, but I'm going Eddie and Ketia because I think he deserves it today. Um, and that's that. That's really that. Um, run through the subs real quick. Gabrielle, please stay. Don't go to Saudi. Don't go to Saudi, bro. Please don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, this is also a certain point that we need to make. We literally just forged Gabrielle and Saliba as a center back pairing like over the last like season and a half. No, no, we're not breaking that up. No, no, no way. Nana, nana. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to LA Knight if y'all watch wrestling. Nana. We don't, we don't, we don't want to do all that. Gabriel stay. He he was good. Kiwi or Jorginho or Alexander Jatenko. Good to see Jatenko back as well. Um, probably just ball standard fives. Um, Arteta today very ballsy. I'm giving him a. I'm giving him an 8.5. 
super ballsy today to have no runners uh, at, at a certain point in match after the red car and go to a disgusting low block like that, but it worked. We stuck in, we got the result. We really, really, really needed to hang in there and grind something out. And that's that's a champion level performance. That's something that will get us over the line in the end. So I'm glad to see it. Oh, forgot before we go, David Coop. Oh man, <clears throat> negative, negative. 85 quadrillion, 643 trillion, 872 billion, 40 billion, 645 million. I can't remember my, the place I was at, but, but it was a large ass negative number. All you need to know, it's a large ass negative number for David Coote and the refereeing just all around. Terrible PGMOL. You're going to do the same thing again that you did last season. Just destroy just destroy potential of good games and can just have no consistency and just be terrible. You're just going to be terrible. And, ah, oh, y'all annoying. Negatives for you, your whole bloodline, all that stuff. Negative ratings. Oh, my goodness, man. But that's 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 enough for me. Let me know what you thought of the match in the comment section below. Uh, next up, I think we have Fulham uh, at home. So we should be at a much better flowy game. Hope uh, Zinchenko's back in the lineup. We should be good to go. But 1-0 to Arsenal. That's been my time. Let me know what you guys thought. And we'll see you in the next one, probably. See you in the next one. Yeah, we'll probably. We'll definitely get to see you in the next one. Anyways. <laughs> That's all I got for this video, but don't trip. We'll catch you in the next one. C-O-Y-J!